Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back for another video. As you can tell by the thumbnail, I've got a squad to build. So let's get this thing started. All right, so first things first, as you can tell behind me, I actually am a massive fan of troopers. I love the army build. I love to, you know, make squads. That's just the way I am. And I love doing it. So as we all know, Walgreens has the exclusive 212 trooper and it is very, very elusive, especially in my area. It has taken several weeks hundreds of miles and Lord knows how much uh, money and fuel to acquire my squad. And uh, as we get this started, there's one, there's two, three, four, five, and last but not least, six right there six of these bad boys and I can tell you this based on um, my recollection every single one of these for fact number one was a single purchase at a Walgreens um, I never found more than one this is from six different Walgreens in probably a 125 mile radius of my house. Um, some were local, some were midway, some were far away. But right here, we got the squad. Uh, this is it. Um, six is what I wanted. Uh, I was happy with three, and then I found a fourth, and then I'm like, okay, wait a minute. I got to get at least a couple of more and uh, lo and behold, I was very fortunate to find them. Uh, with that being said, um, is this the most awesome trooper that I've uh, ran across? Uh, no, it's, um, it looks good, but I'm, I'm thinking there may be issues uh, with the helmet I did read online where someone uh, made a post about the paint on the back of the helmet. So first time opening one of these up. So let's, uh, yeah, that little piece of paper there that makes no sense. And I can see right off the bat what the person was talking about. So have a blaster, get him out of the, uh, noisy clamshell. <laughs> All right, so what the person online stated was the paint on the helmet right there, it actually stops midway. It doesn't go all the way to the back. That is disappointing. Uh, looks like we do have a head sculpt. Uh, yeah, it would have looked better coming all the way back because you do have paint on the back of the armor. Is it a deal breaker? No, it's not a deal breaker for me because it's a trooper and I love troopers. That ankle peg, man, that's got a very positive oomph to it. Wow, that's a that's a tough ankle pivot. But overall, it's a, it's a good looking trooper. Uh, I do like the orange. Uh, we do have the... Uh, on the shoulder pauldrons, it's attached right here at the bicep, not at the shoulder. So with a little bit of adjustment, lifting that up, you can get a really good shoulder um, articulation on it. Head-wise, there's plenty of room. Um, I, do, I do like the fact that there's a head sculpt under here. The only drawback to it is you can't really get to it. I, I sort of wish it, well, you can, but it's hit and miss, you know, boiling it, heating it up. But, uh, again, I'm not a, an artist, so me painting head sculpts, I'm not great at it, so I'm not too concerned with that. Uh, side to side looks great. 360, as always. 
Uh, the head on this trooper actually has some softness to it in the neck joint. Again, we have great shoulder articulation, uh, elbows, not bad, not bad at all. Pretty standard um, when it comes to the troopers. So yeah, that's not bad. Definitely uh, lower back articulation is good. Ab crunch, uh, hardly any. Side to side is good, nothing wrong with that. Should have decent thigh articulation, which uh, we do. Thigh rotates, knees, standard, nothing crazy on it. But it's, uh, it's a good looking trooper. I like the orange. I do like the orange. It's, uh, it looks good. I dig it. The only issue I have right now is what I read online. The, the orange on the back of the helmet right here, it should have came all the way. I do like the silver. Uh, these would be really good to weather. I think they'd look great. But uh, from a trooper perspective, I like it. It's really, really cool. Uh, the one thing I do wish... Uh, with these troopers and let me know in the comments if you agree with us or not. I wish they came with a couple more hand skulls. I wish they came with a left trigger finger and either a right or a left fisted finger or fisted hand. Um, I know you can do a little modification on the finger uh, on the left, but predominantly all troopers are right handed. Uh, <laughs> really but uh yeah there we go standard blaster nothing too uh crazy with that but yeah the the walmart exclusive yeah it's definitely exclusive all right because like i said in a lot of my hunt videos uh, and even some live streams these things aren't hitting like hard in my area and it's typically one um if i remember correctly couple of these Walmarts I would go to like every day. Um, so yeah, and a couple of them that were far off, that was total luck uh, that they were there. I was already going in that area. Um, so one of them actually picked up on the way to the GI Joe con total fluke, but, uh, yeah. So I tell you what, I'm going to get all of these unboxed and get them posed up and displayed. And uh, we'll come back and I'll give you my final thoughts on the Walgreens exclusive clone trooper. All right, there you go. Got the two twelfth clone troopers displayed on my hexagon display set. And as you can see, this is the reason why I wanted to do six of them. I think six looks really, really cool on a display. Uh, you don't have to have six. You know, you could actually do a set of three and three. Just the hexagon bases, they're uh, three, you know, one inch, two inch, and a three inch. But I sort of dig them when they're, uh, when they're like this. That just sort of makes me happy. But uh, wow, these guys look great displayed. This is a squad right here. And it'll go good with all of my other ones that I have back here. Um, but yeah, doesn't that look cool? I'm just saying, it looks great. That's just impressive right there. Uh, so as far as the 212 Trooper goes, uh, I really do like it. I do agree that the paint should have went all the way to the back. Uh, I did. I really can't find anything else to complain about. Um, other than the fact, they're hard to find. That's the big thing. And we're still at, we're still in a time to where we have legit logistic issues. So just be patient. Like I said earlier, this this took me weeks and a lot of miles. Um, you're going to have to branch out. If, if you've got a couple of Walgreens that are, you know, 30, 40 miles from your house, you may have to go there, you know, once or twice a week if you can. Um, talk to your uh, Walgreens people. I've talked to a few of mine, and they all pretty much told me the same thing. If it's on the shelf, it's out. If it's not on the shelf, they don't have it. 
So, uh, yeah, I wish they were more. Uh, I wish we'd see a couple, two or three. I did see a post on social media where one Walgreens, I can't remember where it was at. I think they had like 20 of them. And it's like a side cap just full of them. But good luck. I really hope you can find them. I know there's a lot of people going to give me grief because I've got six of them. They're going to be like, why don't you save some for other people? But like I said earlier, all of these were gotten within a 125 to 150 mile radius of my house. This is six different Walgreens. Every single one of these was a luck find. Uh, there was no inside information. Um, it was literally you go into a Walgreens, nothing. Go into a second Walgreens, nothing. Um, I think even a couple of my hunt videos, I stumbled across some in those, but you're just going to be patient. You know, put in the work, put in the time, put in the effort, and they will come. I'm done. This is this is it for me. Uh, I'm, I I don't need any more uh, any more of them. Uh, my next army build that I'm working on is the Death Watch Troopers. Um, hopefully, in the next you know few days or a week or so, I'll have a video on that. Uh, but that's my main trooper that I want to army build. Um, I put a really hefty goal for that one, and that's 22 Death Watch Troopers in 2022. Um, I have been able to find them online to order, but I've not seen these online. I wish we could order them online. I really do. I don't know why we can't. Uh, but if if you know, if you've seen them online, post it in the comments. Let everybody know. But I just wanted to show you guys what they look like, give you my thoughts on them. I do like the orange paint. That's really cool because when I look around at what I've got, uh, They'll, they'll go good with the uh, Rogue One, but, you know, there's all kinds of different color schemes. I would like to see more different color ones. I think that'd be cool. Uh, I know there's different colors as far as the clone troopers, and I think it'd be really cool to uh, see more of them. But anyway, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, again, there's not a lot to talk about when it comes to the articulation. It's actually really, really good. These do come with a head sculpt underneath the helmet. If you're an artist and can do head sculpts, um, boil the helmets off so you can paint them. That'd be really cool. Uh, but let me know in the comments uh, what you think about the troopers. If you have an interest in the stands, I do uh, sell the stands on my Etsy store. All of that's in the link. Um, so yeah, keep, keep going to it because I make them, then I throw them up on the Etsy store. But as you can see, I use them. All of my troopers, I display on these, and I absolutely love these things. So, but yeah, that's it for the video. If this is your first time on my channel, if you enjoy my content, do me a favor, consider hitting that subscribe button. If you do subscribe, make sure you got notifications turned on. That way you'll know when I drop videos and do live streams and anything else on my channel. And as always, please remember, toys refreshes your soul, and I'll see you next time.